Hello and welcome back to Learn, Share and Repeat with me, Peter Rising. Good to see you again, and if it's your first time, welcome, nice to meet you and have you join us here on the channel. And if you do me the favor while you're here, hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell as you do so, then you'll never miss a video and it helps me so much, you have no idea. You can also consider becoming a member of the channel as well. Click the join button to see the various levels of membership available to you to support the channel. Okay, on to today's video. I had a request from one of my subscribers who asked if I could revisit a video I did a little while ago on the new Microsoft Purview Preview Portal. When I looked at that some months ago, it uh, wasn't particularly developed. There wasn't really anything in there yet and it was definitely a work in progress. So I'm gonna take another look at it. I'm gonna uh, see what it's all about right now, where it's at and uh, if it's usable, if I'm tempted to switch to it yet, let's see. But uh, without any further ado, let's dive in and take a look. Okay, so let's get into it. I've got two tabs open on my browser. One, I've got the traditional existing Microsoft Purview portal experience at compliance.microsoft.com. I'm very comfortable with this. I know my way around it. I'm very happy with it. But here in the other tab, I've got the new Microsoft Purview portal experience. Now, you'll see here there's a toggle switch there at the top for the new Microsoft Purview portal. You will sometimes see that in the existing portal where you can switch to it it's not appearing there right now so i think microsoft are sort of experimenting with that being there and, and not being there but uh, you can see that this new one is still a preview feature though but i can already see that since my last look at this there's a few more things in here the complaint i had when i looked at this last time was that it was very azure based it was very Azure focused. It didn't have the things in here that I would want to go to as a Microsoft 365 person, like information protection, DLP, insider risk management, audit. That's progress already from the last time I was in here. Uh, and it's showing me some related portals as well. It's calling out Microsoft Priva, Microsoft Fabric, Microsoft Defender, Entra, and Service Trust. If I scroll down, I can uh, see where I was last at when I was in here. Pick up where you left off, open data catalog. So that's good. It's uh, remembering my last activity. I've got a compliance posture status. Your posture score needs improvement. Uh, we are, yeah, I know that. Uh, I can access that using Compliance Manager. I've got a posture breakdown. I don't think I have that in the existing portal. Interesting. And it's recommending some trials to me to improve my experience. It's saying I can go to adaptive protection for my purview features, inside a risk management, compliance assessments, and I've got links to a knowledge center as well. So that's that's our home screen there. That's cool. We don't have a little sort of flyout panel with a side menu like we do in the existing purview portal, which I must admit I quite like, but let's not judge it on that and that alone. Alrighty, so let's go through some of these solutions and see what the experience is. The data catalog, if I click onto that, I was in that last time, and this is very, very much the Azure experience. So explore your data within Microsoft Azure and Microsoft Fabric. So I'm getting my overview there, I'm getting my browse, my business glossary, my data sharing. You can see my exploration of this in the previous video that I did, and I'll link that to this video so you can get access to that. I'm not gonna repeat over that uh, right now. So let's just go back home and see what else we've got. Okay, information protection, this is more like it. If I click on that, what am I gonna get? Oh, amazing. This has genuinely caught me by surprise, actually, because literally, Two or three days ago when I was prepping for this video and I was looking at this, when I clicked on information protection, it took me right back to the old portal. It just linked to the old experience. So literally this has just changed. So very interesting. So I'm seeing this as you do here. Microsoft information protection, discover label and protect sensitive and business critical info across your multi-cloud estate. Permissions needed to view setup tasks. Okay, uh, learn what permissions are needed. Oh, you're gonna take me to a learn page. Okay, fair enough. I thought it was gonna take me to the setting that I 
that I needed to do that. Recommendations, I've got no recommendations right now. I've got some reports for protection coverage. It's getting the reports details. This shouldn't take too long, but it's loading, loading, loading. Resources, stay informed about information protection. Plan for retirement of the AIP add-in. Okay, I sort of briefly got excited there, but it's not actually taking me to anything I can do with information protection. So, okay. When I saw this appear and it didn't link me back to the old portal or the existing portal, I should say, I was expecting it would take me to probably here to the overview of sensitivity labels. So this is this has changed, but it's not changed enough that it makes me want to use it. So let's go back. Let's see what it does for data loss prevention. Okay, uh, here we go. So still in the purview portal. It's not switched me back, but I'm getting a dashboard here to stay informed about DLP, top activities, device health, protect files shared in Teams. So I'm, I'm getting a summary page here. It doesn't look like I can get to my policies from here yet. But again, when I checked this a few days ago, this was taking me back to the existing portal. So things are changing, which is good, but again, I'm I'm not really able to do anything effective from here uh, that I can see. Let's see what insider risk management does. Okay. We've got alerts, recommended actions, active cases. Now I can do things from here by the looks of it. Manage all policies. Let's see what happens here. Uh okay. Oh yeah, I'm still in the purview Paul. It's not taking me back to compliance, which this was doing the first time I looked at this uh, recently, so that's that's good. We can we can actually do things with insider risk management. Uh, let's go home again. Let me just double check. I'm not missing something on on DLP. I'm not missing the fact that I can get to my actual policies from here. Can I? Health overview: five policies ready to extend. You already have policies protecting. Let's see what happens if I click get started. Okay, we've got a fly out panel here. And okay, create an auto labeling policy. What happens if I click on that? No, it's keeping me in this experience. That's interesting. Interesting. So some changes, some changes. Let's go back home. What else have we got? Audit. What we're going to have here, oh, right into the audit, right within the new portal. Familiar experience, this is pretty much what it looks like within the existing portal. So we can choose our date range, put in our keyword search, uh, choose admin units if it's relative or, or relevant. And the activities, it's got all of the activities here that we would expect. So if we search for teams for example created a team deleted it. yeah everything's in there so right in this experience that's progress that's good i like that and we can view all solutions let's have that view of that all solutions what does this look like in this new experience so we can filter by all solutions which we have and then as we go down we uh we, we can jump we can jump to core which is audit and settings we can jump to risk and compliance, which is communication compliance, compliance manager, e-discovery, information barriers and records management. Let's pick on compliance manager. And wow, it's keeping me in this portal again. I didn't expect it to do that. So it's a little sluggish. It's loading a bit slowly. And I don't think it's my internet connection because I've got super duper Starlink internet these days. So that's pretty decent. That's pretty decent though. I think we're getting there. So that was risk and compliance. What about e-discovery? Ah, there we go. Yeah, that's still linking back to the existing portal. You notice that changed me right into compliance.microsoft.com. So you're going to see some instances where it's going to take you back to that existing portal experience. But over time, that's going to gradually change, I think. What have we got in data governance? So we've got this very azure one here that we had a look in before. Um, being a Microsoft 365 guy, Azure scares me a little bit, but hey, I can always learn. I'll always be learning. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, debt lifecycle management. This relates to retention labels, retention policies. What have we got here? It's keeping us in that portal. And whoa, this looks very nicely defined. Very nicely defined. We've got a little side menu in this one. So we've got an overview. We've got retention labels. We've, look at that inventively named one there by me, GFDF. <laughs> I'm so lazy sometimes when I do demos. Policies, retention policies, label policies, policy lookup, the import feature. We have got links to exchange legacy policies, the, uh, the MRM policies and the journal rules. We've got classifiers in here. We've got trainable classifiers, sensitive info types, EDM classifiers. We've got explorers, data explorer, uh, content explorer classic, and activity explorer. Now that's interesting. That's interesting. This is new stuff. Data explorer. Uh, so this looks quite familiar in terms of looking at content by sensitive info types or sensitivity labels. So if we click on the sensitivity labels, we can see uh, what's applied to Exchange and OneDrive by label. We can do it by sensitive info types. We can do it by retention labels, trainable classifiers. This is pretty nice. The classic content explorer, which you'll still find in the existing portal is, is a more familiar experience, but but this I really like, actually. This has potential. It's got a nice look to it. Activity Explorer, uh, familiar, uh, pretty much exactly as it is in the in the existing portal. Uh, so that's great. Wow, I like that. Okay, well let's go back. Uh, let's go back home. So where were we? Uh, all solutions. So where were we? Data governance. So that was data lifecycle management. That's the most defined solution that I would use that's fully present or near enough fully present in this new experience. Data security. What have we got here? We've already looked at these ones. DLP, information protection inside of risk management. What about privacy? Subject rights requests and privacy risk management. Where is this going to take us? Oh, this is all here. Microsoft Priva, uh, as I think this is still known as. Uh, we've got a nice experience there for subject rights requests. Let's just see if it is the same for privacy risk management. And indeed it is. Uh, we can get our policies here for privacy risk management. Uh, related solutions there at the bottom. The data catalog. Very sluggish. I don't know why but it is quite sluggish. Maybe that's because it's a work in progress. And then we've got resources. Oh, that's the knowledge center. And then the related portals. So curious, where's this gonna take us for related portals? Because Priva, we just saw, was nicely embedded into this new purview.microsoft.com portal. If I click on it, no, it's gonna keep us in there, uh, but it's, it's okay, that's good. It's welcoming me to it because it's, it doesn't think, well, I don't have it on this tenant actually, so that's fair. Microsoft Fabric Portal. This is going to take us into a very Power BI-ish experience by the looks of it. Fabric is not something I'm particularly familiar with. Maybe I should learn it and uh, do a video on it when I've done so. So Defender, I'm going to guess that's going to take us to security.microsoft.com. Yep, exactly that. Cool. And I always forget that I've got that in dark mode. It always jars me a bit. Uh, let's switch that back to light mode, in fact, because it's one of the few times that I prefer that. But I digress. And where are we? Enter it. That Enter.microsoft.com. No doubt about that. Here we go. That's, uh, yeah, as I would expect. And finally, Microsoft Service Trust. This is a really cool resource, actually. And it's something that I often forget about, that it exists. But well worth a look if it, uh, if it loads. The Service Trust portal. And this tells you all about how Microsoft Cloud Services protect your data and how you can manage cloud data security and compliance in relation to certifications, regulations, and standards. So there's a lot of such good stuff here. ISO and IEC, SOC, GDPR, FedRAMP, PCI, CSA STAR, Australia IRAP, Singapore MTCS, Spain, reports, white papers and artifacts, industry and regional resources. Not seeing anything for NIST 2 in here, which is interesting. But uh, 
really, really well worth knowing about, though, and worth your time. So that's that. But what have we got in terms of what's this up here? This is release notes and updates. Oh, this is useful to see. Insider risk management, policy tuning analysis. So it's giving you updates for for release notes and, and whatnot. Uh, very handy to see. And we can pop these out and learn more. So that's cool. Uh, that's to submit feedback. That's just uh, um, notifications. This one is Purview Enterprise, better coverage and more apps. Uh, you can upgrade your account to go to Purview Enterprise. I might have to consider doing that, but I'm not going to do it now. And then settings. This is just the the settings for the the top bar, not actual settings for Purview. So, um, but if we go to how do we get rid of that? Go away. Not now. Um, that's embarrassing. I can't get that to dis or cancel. There we go. Um, is there a sort of settings for this portal that I can... No, it doesn't look like there is. But, yeah, there you go. Some interesting developments, but I'm not quite ready to switch over to it yet. I'm going to stick with my trusty compliance.microsoft.com for the meantime, because it's got everything I want, and it's very familiar. But I hope you found that a useful update. So there you go, still very much a work in progress, but a lot more in there, more developed than it was the last time that I looked at this a few months ago. Would I want to switch to that as my main source of truth for Microsoft Purview at the moment? No, I don't think so. I think I would still be tempted uh, to go to my go-to, which is compliance.microsoft.com for the time being. I think it's going to be a while before I instinctively go to purview.microsoft.com and have that as my go-to experience. It's good to see them unifying things, though, in terms of what I would call the more traditional Microsoft Purview content, the information protection, information governance stuff, and the compliance manager, alongside the more what I would call the pure Azure stuff, the Azure Purview stuff. They're, they're definitely bringing that whole experience together with the, the Microsoft Fabric content, and uh, I think that's a good thing, as long as the messaging gets there quite clearly in terms of of the learn.microsoft.com content because they're calling the whole thing Microsoft Purview and there are very, very Azure elements that are very, very key to what is coming into this new portal. So I'm, I'm concerned that it'll be quite confusing, but uh, we'll see how it evolves. Um, I mean, a good example is information protection itself. It still to this day gets referred to as Azure information protection, whereas I think it it's more appropriately called Microsoft Information Protection, AIP versus MIP, but I digress. But I think the intent to make a good unified portal experience is there. I think there's more to come for sure. We'll probably do a follow-up follow -up video on it a few months down the line and see where it's going at that point. Anyway, thank you for viewing. Thank you for joining me. Thanks to my subscribers, my members. I appreciate you all. If you've not subscribed, please hit that button right now down below. It helps me so much to go to the channel. Uh, click on join as well if you're interested in becoming a member. And I will see you on another video very soon indeed. You take care now. Bye-bye.